What are some of the striking sites you can visit in Bangkok if you have just a few days in that fascinating city? Hi, everyone. This is your world, and welcome to it, where I talk about my visits to some interesting places. I'm Bill Bernstein. This video is about all the great things we saw as we visited some of the most well-known attractions in that exciting city, Bangkok. Bangkok is a combination of the old and the new. Swarnabhumi Airport is the 17th busiest in the world. The city is a sprawling home to over 9 million people. There are, of course, many different types of tours you can take. We chose to visit sites that would give us a real feel for traditional Thai culture. We used local tour guides, and I'll put a link below to one that we used. Our first visit was to the Grand Palace. This was the home of the king and his court until 1925 and is still the site of some official events. It is the home of one of the most important temples, Wat Prakao, or the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. That isn't the only thing to see on the grounds, however. There are a really remarkable number of really beautiful buildings and sites to absorb. We found every single thing we looked at on the grounds was a beautiful, fascinating, and remarkable creation. Everywhere you look, there are striking works. All of the important buildings have their guardians, of course. Although Thailand is a Buddhist country, the Thai people show great respect for other cultures and traditions, and much of the Hindu culture came to Thailand. On the Grand Palace grounds, there's a long frieze showing many scenes from the Hindu epic, the Ramayana. That same day, we visited a famous temple across the Chao Phraya River, Arun Wat, which can be loosely translated as the Temple of Dawn. You don't really go inside, but it's a beautiful thing to see. We're not really sure what this guy was doing, but obviously working. One amazing temple we visited is Wat Tri Mit, the Temple of the Golden Buddha. This Buddha was created during the 13th and 14th centuries. Much later, during an invasion by Burma in 1767, to protect the statue, it was covered by terracotta, making it look like a simple statue made of mud. So the Burmese left it alone. Almost 200 years later, in 1955, as the statue was being moved, it fell, and part of the terracotta covering broke off. The monks saw that it was solid gold. There is a very venerated shrine that is outside on a street corner on Sukhumvit Road in Bangkok. This is known by many as the Four-Faced Buddha, although it is, in fact, an idol of the Hindu god Brahma, the creator. The shrine is famous for good luck and blessing. It's supposed to grant wishes and might be one of the most famous sites in Bangkok. The Jim Thompson House, or museum, is visited by many people coming to Bangkok. A great story. During World War II, Jim Thompson worked for OSS, the intelligence agency that was the precursor to the CIA. After the war, he revitalized the silk trade in Thailand and collected many works of art. In 1967, he was walking in an area, disappeared, and never returned. Because of his history with spy services, there was a great deal of suspicion and speculation about what happened to him. His body was never found, however. And today, the house, a remarkable teak wood construction that brought together four smaller traditional Thai houses, is a museum. Very often in Bangkok, we took what is commonly called the Sky Train, which comes every 15 minutes or so, is always full, and is very clean and air conditioned. There's a shopping mall, Terminal 21. It's about a 30 minute walk or a short ride on the Sky Train from the hotel where we stay. We found Terminal 21 itself an interesting place. It's located on the main business thoroughfare in Bangkok, Sukhumvit Road, along which the Sky Train mostly goes. And here's a view of traffic at night on Sukhumvit. At one of the temples we visited, we decided to try on some traditional Thai costumes. I sort of liked the look, but we forgot to bring a home with us. They probably wouldn't have let us on the plane anyway. We ate at plenty of interesting restaurants in Bangkok. One called Zanzibar, has a nice atmosphere, and it is all really outside with a light covering above. Thailand is most famous, of course, for its street food. 
you can grab a delicious meal on the street in Bangkok for one or two dollars. If you like South Indian food, there is an excellent restaurant called Dosa King, where we had lunch a few times. Be sure to hit subscribe below if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more. If you want to see our visits to the most interesting sites in Iceland, click on this link for highlights of the excursions we took and our cruise visiting the most amazing sites in that really amazing country. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, so long from all of us in your world.